नॉर्मल न्यूमरल्स लाइक ए सेट रोमन्स डिड नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट मच टू दी साइंस ऑफ द फील्ड ऑफ मैथमेटिक इट सेल्फ बट सिंस दे कॉन्कर्ड सो मच एरिया रोमन न्यूमरल्स वर प्रिवलेंट इन लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेज इन लॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड आर स्टिल यूज इन सर्टन प्लेसेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द क्लासेज इन सम स्कूल्स आर नंबर्ड इन रोमन न्यूमरल्स सो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू रियली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम अवर डेसीमल नंबर टू द रोमन न्यूमरल्स द फर्स्ट थिंग अबाउट रोमन न्यूमरल्स दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर इज द सिम्बल्स दम सेल्फ so they don't have symbols for 2 3 etc right they don't have all the system all the symbols that we find in the decimal system but they have some some of those symbols so the first is symbol for 1 then there is a symbol for 5 10 there is a symbol for 50 which is l symbol for 100 is c symbol for 500 d and then 1000 is the symbol yeah, m is the symbol for 1000 the second rule is repetition all of these digits can be repeated up to 3 times except v l and d which cannot be repeated the third rule is if a smaller number right for example in this if a smaller number follows right is after a bigger number then these digits will get added these values would get added so a 5 a v followed by i would become 5 plus 1 which is 6 similarly if this value if this numeral roman numeral is placed before the larger number right so i put a i before v then this value is subtracted from v so this becomes 5 minus 4 which is a uh, 5 minus 1 which is 4 again the symbols v l and d are not subtracted the numeral 1 the value 1 is subtracted from only 5 and 10 right so because it only makes sense to subtract from the tens right up to up till number 10 the number 1 is subtracted only from 5 and x similarly the number 10 the numeral 10 or the x is subtracted only only from l c and m so these are the rules of the roman numerals these are the commonly taught rules of the roman numerals and we'll do some conversion using these basic rules let's take the first example of year 2019 see this is the year when this class happened and that's why we are using it 2019 the way to convert it to roman numeral would be first take the number m which is 1000 but i really need to make 2000 so i repeat it two times so there be, there comes two m's then zero of course is meaningless it doesn't mean anything we don't do anything about it then we move on to this number 10 right so this one here is really means 10 so this 10 can be written as x tens digit then we move on to this number 9 in the units or the ones place and number 9 can be written as i write 10 and then subtract 1 from it so remember if i write 1 before x it means 10 minus 1 that is 9 so this is the number 2019 let's take another example 1776 so this number is written on the statue of liberty <laughs> not in decimal but in roman numerals so we'll take this as also as an example the first thing is of course 1000 so i only have one single thousand so i'll write m the second is hundreds i have seven hundreds right it is 700 hundreds so what i'll do is that i'll write a 500 and then i'll write 200 dcc remember the c and c come after d they are followed by d and hence they are get get added to d so d is 500 c is 100 another c is 100 so 500 600 and 700 dcc then i write again 7 i have to create 70 right so what i'll do is that i'll use a 50 from here which is l and then i'll use two tens x and x so 50 60 70 i have now created 70 70 is also created now i have to create 6 which is of course v which brings to me 5 which brings to this number 5 followed by an i which gives me a 1 right so it's since i is follow following v so the numbers would get added so this is the number 
1776. Now let's take another example. 1910. Right? I want to take this example to illustrate something. So 1910. Again, number one, the thousand, right? Number one here is, is essentially thousand. Thousand would come from M. Nine hundreds, right? This is nine hundreds. Nine hundreds would come from D. And then some students, what they'll do is that they'll use D and then put four C's. D is 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. But this is incorrect, right? This is incorrect because I cannot repeat a number more than three times. So how do I produce 900? So the way to do it would be, first we put the 1000 itself, right? Uh, M is here. Then to create number 900, I use the M again, which gives me a 1000, but of course I don't want 1000. I want 900. So I subtract 100 from this M. So 100 is C. So C written before the M would mean that I am subtracting 100 from 1000, which brings me 900 and then of course 10 is simple i can simply write x right so this is the this is something that you should be very careful about the largest number that can be written that can be represented in roman numerals can you guess it what that would be right with all the rules that we have st studied so far what would be the largest number the largest number let's try to create it the maximum i can use three of these so of course Three of these means I can do three M's and then <coughs> I cannot go any higher than 3000. That's what it means. I cannot represent 4000 because I cannot write four M's. So 4000 is out of the question. So the largest I can go, the highest I can go is three M's. So I write three M's, 3000 is the largest number. So perhaps the largest number in 3000s is 3999. So perhaps I can represent that using our Roman, uh, Roman numeral notation. And the way to represent less of this is actually quite simple. 900 can be represented by subtracting 100 from M. 90 can be represented by subtracting 10 from C, which is 100. And lastly, the number 9 can be represented by subtracting 1 from X. So this is the largest number with the rules given so far, this is the largest number that we can represent, which is 3999. Of course, Romans was, like I said, it was a big civilization. They collected a lot of taxes, they made a lot of buildings, monuments, whatnot. So obviously, they must be having a way to represent numbers bigger than 3999. And the way they did it is by putting a bar. A number X or a number V alone would have meant only 5. As soon as I put a bar above it, it really means into 1000. So this number becomes 5000. So as soon as you put a bar above a number, it becomes quite large. It becomes quite large. right? So this becomes so many thousands. So they had mechanisms of dealing with even larger numbers. Thank you. See, considering how important Roman numerals are, let's I also try to see how to convert from Roman numerals to decimal numbers. And believe me, they are very important. If teachers can ask questions on Roman numerals, you will definitely get a question in exam. So here, let's start with an example, a very simple example. M, M, X, I, V. So the trick is to, to, from, to converting from Roman numerals is as follows. So start from the rightmost digits. Right? So that's the first thing we do. Rightmost letters we start. We try to consume as many letters as we can starting from the right. So first we look at V. V of course means 5. Then we look at I. I means 1. Can we combine these two? Yes, of course we can. So together because I appears to the left of V, this is 5 minus 1 and they become 4. We now try to see if we can capture x also within this digit we have made a digit 4 which is our lsb we know that it is the uh, units digit once digit of the our uh, uh, normal decimal number so can we combine 10 also of course we cannot right because the thing is 10 is 
would give me a tens digit. It cannot be used in the ones digit. So 10 cannot be combined. So we stop here and we write our first normal numeral, which is four. Now we come to 10. This can this 10 be combined with M, right? We are trying to consume as many digits as we can. As we go along, we are trying to form the tens digit. 10 will of course come in the tens digit and we are trying to combine more letters if we possibly can. Of course, 10 cannot be combined with M. So we leave it right there and we just write 10. Right? So we just write 10. Now what happens? This There is no hundreds digit. So in place of 100, I just write 0. And of course, these M and M, they stand for 1000. So in 1000 digit, I write Let's take another example. This is M L X V I. Okay. Again, we start from the right hand side. The right hand letter is one. V is of course five. So together they can, I can combine these two. So this, this will become six. I know that much. I can combine these two, two. I, I do that. Again, I try to see if I can combine this X also with this 5. Is it possible to combine this X also with this other digit 6? It's not really possible because X is a tens digit. It would form a tens digit, not really a ones digit. So this X cannot be combined and we leave X as it is. So our units digit, our ones digit comes out to be 6. Now we start with X. So X stands for 10. Then we go further out. This we get 50. Of course, L and X can be combined. So we combine those two and these two form 50 plus 10, which is 60. So I write six here. This L, this, this, this six or the 60 that we have formed cannot really be combined with the letter which appears on the left, which is M. So M cannot be combined with these digits. And that's why this M, M appears as such, which is just a thousand of, like last time, there's nothing in the hundreds digit. So the trick here, is to go from the right to the left, go from the right to the left, combining or chewing as many letters of Roman numerals as you possibly can. Right? If you cannot chew a number, leave it for the next digit in the decimal system. So this was hopefully very simple.